Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. Welcome to my channel. And, no, this is not journaling, even though it has a journal there. Um, this is a project I really, really love doing. And also, um, just right there up there with the journal making. For those that have followed me over the um, years that I've been um, on the channel, you know that I started with horses. And for anyone that's a new subscriber, just um, uh, go to the videos um, file on my channel and just click on the oldest and you'll see um, what I did in them. And you can just scroll through and see what which horse you'd like to see altered. So I've made them from, you know, different themes and that. And I started with slideshows at the time. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And I haven't made, altered anything for quite a while. I do have a project going at the moment, but it's huge. And I don't know how I'm going to fit it on the table. So I might have to um, uh, do a video of it when it's complete. Because then I'll have to sort of move around to show you. So, but anyway, so... This is a project um, I've had on my mind to do for well over 12 months now. And it's going to um, a friend who loves dragons. Well, you know, she loves a lot of stuff, but she likes dragons. And when I come across this in the um, op shop, I thought, aha, you know, it was just a toy. It's just a toy dragon. And it had this thing on the top that you push and the wings went up and down and all that. It can, you can move its head so it can, you know, it can look at you sideways. You can also move the tail if you wanted to move it, but, you know, that's not really important. But you can move the legs, so you can have sort of any sort of stance you want with this dragon. And, um, you know, you can have it lower down like this, or you can have it standing up. I like to have it front feet standing up so I know it's not going to go anywhere, just like that. And you can have it one leg you know, kicked out and one leg kicked in. So, yeah, so meet Kaida, the friendly dragon. And he's a collector and he collects jewels. So I come up with the name by Googling dragon names. And, you know, it was right, right. I had to scroll through quite a few. And um, that sort of made sense. And I come across Kaida meaning the little dragon. Well, he is pretty little, isn't he? So what I did was I prepped um, the actual, what I'll do is I might just show you while I'm talking. So you're not just staring at this, um, you know, and bore you and bore you with it. But what I did was um, I prepped this and I fine sanded the plastic and then I gessoed it and then I used various acrylic paints and then the last layer of paint, I actually mixed a gold and black to get this sort of colour. But in it, you'll see a little bit of patina and a little bit of um, like a rose pink, only slightly here and there. Um, to yeah, so but when I did the the combination of black and gold, it came up with the colour that I really, you know, was after it. So, yeah, so that's, I might just, just bear with me. I'm just going to make sure it's not too close. And I used, um, I took apart a necklace and made it in such a way that I can use it as a little harness because, you know, he's got to put his jewel somewhere, doesn't he? So he's already got a little bunch here, bits of green and a, um, another green. So his favourite colour is obviously green. The wings are pliable, okay, and when you used to have to push this thing up and down, they would go up and down. I wasn't really fussed, so I took it out, and I left a little gap just here, and so um, I put one of these hitches in that we use in the journal spines to put the dangles, and to be able to fasten all the chains on it or link through them. Here I've used some sequin fabric underneath, okay, just to give it a little bit more detail. And this is the underneath the body, as you can see, it's quite, you know, defined. 
I didn't have to do much to the body except paint it because it had quite a bit of detail on it. So as you can see just here, okay, I highlighted a quite a few areas so that you can see the scales and the scales on his bodies and his leg just there and then part of the tail just here. This was all on there, it was just part of the thing that was on top. The face he had, he actually had um, eyelashes. Well, I painted over them, I really didn't want, and this was all white, so I coloured it. It's probably not the right eyes for a dragon because dragon eyes have got this sort of shape, but he's a friendly dragon. Hey, let's go with it, you know. He's got his whiskers there, and I highlight them with some of the gold and various colours. And, of course, he's got his harness with his jewels as well, just there. Okay, so and on the front, you'll see the harness come through with some chains. I'm not sure if you can see it. Just there like that, that hang down. And I've got this beautiful um, necklace pendant. This was made by Chrissy Phillips. And I'm going to link her Etsy store below because she makes some really pretty jewellery. And when I bought this, I had that in mind to put it on this dragon. So I've had this for quite a while. I've had the dragon for quite a while. And um, it's just losing all this jewellery now because I'm moving around. And then on the back here, let me see if I can show you. As you can see just here, the, the headpiece here comes around with some more pretty jewels. And then the chain comes down here, is shredded through this harness, and then up here through, um, you know, the ring just here. And then it also comes more, more chain down the bottom. I was going to make this like a steampunk um, dragon, but I just didn't feel it for him. So, um, you know, Decor just loves, he's friendly, he just loves collecting jewels. And his tail... It's quite details to see, and you can just see the different colours. You know, whenever you turn, it's got different colours, and I just that's what I wanted. I didn't want it just all the same colour. Okay, little feet. And of course, let me just see if I can I'll put this back here. Like that. Um, it's got a little journal on here. And I won't take it off. It's attached with a bulb pin, so you can take it off. This was a lime green, and I inked it because it was just too bright. And did a bit of stamping in here. This is out of a book, Chapter 1 Australia. I have no idea where that, what was there from. And then I just popped on a little stamp. I've got a little dragon stamp I just popped in here. So she might like to put, you know, write down some thoughts. Um, she's had a bit of a rough time. And, um, yes, and it's just a little thing to say that, you know, and um, this lady is a crafter as well. And, um, you know, she in inspires a lot of people. So I thought, well, you know, and when I found this and I, you know, found out she likes dragons. And I've got this dragon, had this dragon for quite a while um, on, my, on my cupboard of uh, things to do. So, yeah, so let me know of your thoughts. I just want to do a very quick chair. It's just bumping into everything. But uh, Kaida, the friendly little dragon. And um, But I like the feel of it because it's got, you know, um, just all the different textures and that. And So, yeah, so I hope she likes it. So this is probably my last crafting video for the year. I've got a lot of things happening. I'm not sure if you can pick up the colour of this. Can you pick up the colours? Isn't this cool? Yeah, so I'm not I'm not really, you know, experienced in mixing colours, but I I just went mad and I thought, well, you know, I can't, you know, I can't do anything wrong. I just go over it, but I like how the details just come up on here. So, yes. So, this is... Thanks for taking the time and meeting Kaida, the friendly dragon. The little friendly dragon. And, um, yeah, he's busy collecting jewels. So, he's got to put them somewhere, doesn't he? <laughs> 
all right my crafty friends um i'll probably put, put up put up a christmas video um just before because everyone's busy and um so yes and i've got friends will be staying with us for christmas because we're staying home this christmas and i might do a little tour um of her decorations so until next time happy crafting stay safe bye for now